Good morning, first grade. Welcome back to another week in the art room. Today, we are going to be working on a fall project because the weather is getting chillier outside, especially in the morning. And we are quickly approaching the month of October. So what I thought we could do is a fall pumpkin project. So for today, you are going to need a white piece of paper, a pencil, a black marker, or a black crayon. So we are going to do a step-by-step -step drawing of a pumpkin today. So you can either watch the full video and then go back and do it on your own, or you can get out your supplies now and pause the video, and then you can work along with me. So let's go ahead and get started. In the middle of my paper, I'm going to draw a long, skinny oval, almost like a hot dog shape. A long skinny oval and this is a vertical oval the word vertical means it's going up and down top to bottom the word horizontal would be side to side if I did an oval that went side to side so we want a vertical oval so I like to call this almost like a hot dog shape now we're gonna add the bun onto our hot dog and it's just gonna make our pumpkin a little bit bigger so I'm going to add this side of the bun and this side of the bun. There we go. Okay, well, right now, this is a really skinny pumpkin, isn't it? Yeah. So, whoops, my lights shut off. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm coming back. All righty. Sorry about that, guys. My lights like to turn off on me sometimes. Okay, so we want to make our pumpkin a little bit bigger. So I'm going to add another hot dog bun. We've got double hot dog buns here. All right. Perfect. Now, the one thing I am missing is I am missing a stem. Now, the stem is just going to be like a square or a rectangle, okay? Now, you can see that I left a little bit of room on the side of my pumpkin. Don't go all the way out to the edge, okay? We want to leave a little bit of room because we're going to cut this pumpkin out here in a bit. So now I'm going to take my black marker or your black crayon, and you are going to just trace over the pumpkin lines. And you want to go really slow when you're tracing so that you stay on those lines. All right, almost done. Stay with me. All right, perfect. So if I had any pencil lines, that's when I could go in and erase them. Now here's the fun part. Now we get to start coloring. And I'm gonna give you two choices when you go to color your pumpkin. Well, actually I'll give you three choices. The first choice is you can use yellow, orange, and red. Let me find my red. To color in your pumpkin, okay? And you're probably saying to yourself, well, Mrs. D, why do you have yellow and red in your hand? Pumpkins are orange. Well, that is very true but we want to add some light spots and some dark spots to our pumpkin. So we're gonna have all three colors. So the first choice is to use your crayons. The second choice is you can do our marker trick where you can take your orange and you can add a thick line of the marker and then take a paintbrush and just kind of wet it a little bit so that it wakes that marker up and it looks like watercolors or you can just use a watercolor tray and you can use your yellow, your orange, and your red. And I'll show you all three ways. I'm gonna start with crayon, okay? And I'm just gonna color in this first section with crayon. So if you only have crayons, this is what you'll do. So I'm just gonna color in a little bit of yellow, still leaving some spots white because I still have other colors to add. And then I'm going to go in with my orange. Fill in those white spots. But I still want to see some of that yellow poking through. And 
All right, and then I'm going to go in with a teeny tiny bit of red. Just a small amount will do. You don't need a ton because you don't see a whole lot of red on pumpkins. But you do see some really like dark orange. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so there's the first choice with your crayons, okay? Second choice is you can take your orange marker and make that really thick line with the edge of the marker. And you could just color this in if you wanted to. Or, like I said, you can do our little trick where you take your paintbrush and a little bit of water and then you just kind of wake it up. And then you spread that color out. Now make sure your paintbrush is really clean. Mine's a little dirty, so it looks a little yucky, but that's all right, no big deal. Pumpkins aren't perfect. Maybe this is just a dirty pumpkin that was laying in the pumpkin patch. All right, so I can do that trick or I can use my regular watercolors and I can start with just a little bit of yellow and kind of just let it dry a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of fan it off. And then I can go in with a little bit of orange. Well, probably a lot of orange because we want most of it to be orange, right? All right, so I'm just painting away, filling it in. Now, if you add a lot of water to your watercolor trays, your watercolor is going to look really light. If you don't add a lot of water, it's going to look much darker. And then maybe I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit of red, just a little bit. Looks like we've got a tiny bit of a glare from the window, so I'm gonna kind of hold it up. So now you can see, okay? So you're gonna pick, you, you can either do crayon, or marker trick, or watercolors. For the stem, you can use green or you can use brown. So I'm just gonna take our brown crayon and I'm just going to carefully color that in. But like I said, if you wanna use green, go for it. Get all those little white spots. All right, perfect. Now, what you're gonna do next is if you use watercolors or if you did the marker trick, you need to let your pumpkin dry for a little bit. Once it's dry, then I want you to take your scissors and I want you to very carefully follow that black line and I want you to cut out your pumpkin. And that's where I want you to stop for today. This is going to be a two day project. It's gonna be a two day project. So once you're done cutting out your pumpkin, I want you to hold it up and I want you to take a picture of it and then upload it into Seesaw so that I can see it. And then next week, when you come back, I'll show you how to do the next step, okay? So this is how far you should get today. Draw your pumpkin, color or paint your pumpkin, and then cut it out, and then stop there, okay? If you have any questions, you and you are an A learner or a B learner, then you can stop by my classroom. If you are a remote learner, you can email me or you can send me a message on Classroom Dojo and I will try to get back to you as quickly as I can. All right, first grade, go make those pumpkins. I'll talk to you next week.